Hey everyone, Sumo Spiffy here. Natsu Basho Day 11 coming up. Yesterday, the speed run, all 51s because I didn't really have time to think about odds. Today, all 51s because everything is super close. Let's see if we can beat yesterday's 11. Let's go. Yutakiyama and Mitoryu. Mitoryu has a 3 0 record over Yutakiyama lifetime. But my instinct would always be to pick the Maegashira wrestler over a Jirio wrestler who's losing. Also, Mitoryu not only has never been in Makauchi, but has only ever won one of these fights where he's been the Jirio spank toy, so to speak. I think Yutakiyama is just fighting at a higher level. Mitoryu has a very real chance to win this fight as you always do when you have a good record against somebody, but let's go Yutakiyama because it just makes the most sense. Chiyoshoma and Koto Kuzan. Why would you pick Koto Kuzan for anything at this point? Now, in fairness, he probably has a better chance in this one than against a lot of guys he's going to end up fighting because he is more straightforward and Chiyoshoma has the slightest bit extra trouble with guys like that, but it's not an effective moving forward like Ichi Yamamoto is doing in this Basho. It's a very, ah, I'm going to hit you, and if you don't fall down, I guess I'm going to lose. Chiyoshoma to win. Meisei and Nishikigi. Well, Meisei finally got unlucky one time. Now, I will give him this. As much as he doesn't seem to be all there physically, his movement is really good. He's been using it a lot. He's been using it to pretty good effect. Um, even though he was clearly beaten by Midori Fuji, it was just enough to, you know, save him as Midori Fuji fell down. And yesterday, Teratsuyoshi managed to stay on his feet, and Meisei was the first to slip, and he lost that one. He's 3-1 to one against Nishikigi Lifetime. If he stands there and gets hit, I don't think he's going to win, but because his movement is just good enough and Nishikigi hasn't shown anything special in this Basho, I think Meisei is a small favorite here. Midori Fuji and Okuno Umi. They've only fought once, but more to the point, Okuno Umi's wins in this Basho have been against the guys who stand there and hit you in the face as you hit them in the face. That is not Midori Fuji. So, Midori Fuji to win. Tochi Notion and Azumaru. Azumaru is kind of the flip side of Okuno Umi. He's only beaten the guys who like to move around and wrestle more, and he's gotten beat by the dudes who come straight at you. Plus, Tochi Notion is, I don't know if he's going to go on another Sanyaku run, but he's looking healthy. He's looking like he can actually move more so than he has in the last year or so. So, give it to Tochi. Chio Tairyu and Kota Shoho. They've had three fights. Kota Shoho actually won the first two, and Chio Tairyu the most recent, which is a little bit of a flip for some of these younger guys against the veterans. But Chio Tairyu has been on a roll. He was losing his fights early, and now he's just been winning, 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 winning. Kota Shoho has been, you know, up and down, up and down. It's even on paper, Chio Tairyu just seems to be doing a better job of figuring out what he needs to do to win. Let's give him the edge on this. Mio Giryu and Teretsuyoshi. Teretsuyoshi is 4-2 lifetime against Mio Giryu, but Mio Giryu hasn't been doing too badly against people who have had a good record against him lifetime. As we've seen, because you beat a guy a lot in the past doesn't necessarily mean you're going to beat him in a given tournament, and Teretsuyoshi, as much as you know, he probably got a little bit of momentum off of picking up that win yesterday, it really didn't prove a whole lot, and his overall wrestling is just struggling hard. So Mio Giryu is just doing better enough to have the odds here. Ichi Yamamoto and Shimano Umi. I thought about this one for a long time, even though it comes down to one simple question. Ichi Yamamoto is going to jump off the Tachiai and start slamming Shimano Umi in the face. What does Shimano Umi do about that? If this was any other Basho before this, even if Ichi Yamamoto was doing reasonably well, I would say, well, Shimano Umi has been showing this or that strategy lately. Basically, he always seems to be good enough to handle very straightforward attacks like that. Plus, he seems to want to hit you in the face just as much as Ichi Yamamoto does. And if it gets into that kind of even smack, 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 and they end up going to the belt or they're just cracking each other, well, 
Shimano Umi should have the advantage because he's simply better. But Ichi Yamamoto has not just been really effective with his forward attack off the Tachi Eye, but when he gets pushed to the side, like yesterday against Kota Shoho, he's done a really good job of getting his spin on, turning it around, and getting back in a winning position. Even when Kof Kof fight against Sadano Umi, he does it in kind of a lucky way, and by his own admission has no idea what happened, it's working. There's really no reason to think he can't keep the attack and the good movement up, and I don't know if Shimano Umi is going to beat this version of him. So, hey, Ichi, keep it going, it's a great show. Oho and Koto Echo. Oho is 1-0 against Koto Echo, so that doesn't mean a whole lot. Koto Echo has been losing to the bigger guys who come straight at you, but that's I'm talking about Aoyama and Tochi Notion, and Oho is obviously not that size. Koto Echo at this point is still better than Oho. Even though Oho has a better record and has been arguably showing a little bit more game, at least in his wins, Koto Echo's been fighting tougher competition. And Koto Echo now is tougher competition. He should have the edge here. Kagiyaki and Takara Fuji. Takara Fuji, four of the last five against Kagiyaki, blah, blah, doesn't matter. After yesterday, Kagiyaki to win. Sadano Umi and Wakamoto Haru. If you gave me these two guys and said who's going to win with, you know, on the first day of the Basho, I'd say Wakamoto Haru. If you said, hey, here, here are their records on day 11, I might still say Wakamoto Haru if I hadn't seen any of their fights. But Sadano Umi is just fighting differently and better than I have seen him in the last few Bashos. He, his movement's been good, and he lost yesterday because Tochi Notion got the grip on. It looked like he wanted to do the same thing, uh, get off to the side like he has been effectively in some of his fights, and Tochi just grabbed him and wouldn't let him go. Now, if Wakamoto Haro can do the same thing, he's probably going to win too. Uh, but Sadano Umi has been effective enough that I think he's going to find a way to get the victory. Wouldn't shock me if Wakamoto Haru gets in there, gets the grab, and wins this fight. So I'm low confidence on this pick, but I'm giving it to Sadano Umi. Ura and Aoyama. Who would have picked these two as the 7-3 versus 7-3 matchup on day 11? Probably no one. Now, as impressive as Aoyama's run has been, he has lost to three of the more maneuverable guys, even though he lost by straight push out in two of those. Um... Ura is doing really well, and Aoyama is just not going to do great against highly mobile opponents. Ura is a better Midori Fuji. Ura to win. Kiribayama and Tobizaru. Now, Tobizaru has looked like he's struggling in the last few fights, but he's been fighting the toughest opponents, so I don't want to hold that against him. He's also won the last three against Kiribayama and has a 7-3 lifetime advantage. Obviously, this is a good matchup for him. However, Kiribayama is fighting at a really high level. He doesn't seem to be having too many problems. He's, he just doesn't seem to be making many mistakes. Um, he seems real solid. And if you're going to pick a fight where one guy has a really strong record against the other, but you're going to pick the one who has the fewer wins in that matchup... I think this is the one. Kiribayama is doing well. He's on a roll. I think he's simply better than Tobizaro, and I'm actually very surprised that Tobizaro has such a good record against him, especially recently. So I suppose don't be surprised if Tobizaro wins, but I think Kiribayama should be better here. Hokuto Fuji over Takeyasu. Takeyasu has won four or five against Hokuto Fuji, but I have set the, the safety blanket on fire. I don't believe Takeyasu is going to win. He seems a step slower than he was last time, to say the very least. And anybody who he should be competitive with, he seems like that step slower is causing him to lose. Hokuto Fuji finally managed to land that head where it needed to go and stick it in his win over Takekeisho. Maybe that puts him on a good arc towards the end of the tournament. Maybe not. I don't know. 
but he should still pick up a few more wins, and there's a great chance this is one of them. Hokuto Fuji to win. Katonawaka and Daisho. Katonawaka is 2-0 against Daisho. Daisho has been doing almost exactly what you would expect. He's been beating the people that it looks like he should beat when he's fighting the way he's fighting, and losing to the people that he really should lose to when he's fighting the way he's fighting. His style is his style. When it's on, he just goes with it. And when it works, it works. When it doesn't, it doesn't. And he runs with however it goes. Katonawaka is a little better, and he has that slight measure of success against him. So he knows how to beat him. Combine those things. Give him the edge. Takanosho and Hoshoryu. This is the other one I spent a long time on. Hoshoryu is 3-1 against Takanosho. He also is really good at pulling off wins that... Maybe on paper, it looks like he shouldn't, given how the tournament is going, but he also is really good at losing fights that he should win, and so he's a little difficult to predict. Takano Sho is just killing it right now. I don't think he necessarily has found a way to get an advantage over Hoshoryu based on how the two fight. In fact, he's dieseling people, but Hoshoryu still got that good movement, and I think you might see Takano show, you know, overstretch and get yoinked right out of the ring, but I don't think that's going to happen. He seems in control and on top of his game enough that I think he controls Hoshoryu to the rope and just pushes him out. Takano show to win. Wakataka Kage and Mitake Yumi. Even though they have the same record, and even though Wakataka Kage's struggles are more noticeable because everybody is paying attention to how he's doing... Mitake Yumi's wins have really not been very impressive. Even the one person he beat who's doing really well, Kiribayama, his win over Kiribayama put Kiribayama at 1-3. It's just now Kiribayama's won six in a row, so that looks more impressive. Wakatake Kage has won his last two, but more to the point, even though, yeah, yesterday's fight on paper wasn't that much of a challenge, he looked very in control. He looked like he was doing a much better job of getting his feet under him, not being over aggressive. Now, granted, he's fighting Shodai, so it doesn't necessarily mean that he's going to be challenged like he will against Mitake Yumi, but even Shodai's been fighting harder. It looks to me like Wakataka Kage is starting to figure out the weakness that caused him to lose a bunch of fights. And I think that gives him the edge here. So I pick him to win. Takakesho and Endo. Even though Takakesho has the lifetime edge in this matchup, Endo's won three of the last four. And I think anybody who saw the last Basho remembers watching Endo straight up pancake Takakesho. It was a hell of a sight. However, Takakesho, as much as he's just doing okay in this tournament, Still looks like he's wrestling better than Endo. And more to the point, I unless Endo gets that drive in there again, I think Takakesha was equally capable. I'm positive Takakesha was equally capable of driving Endo back. And he's also got the pimp slap in his back pocket. If a Mawashi, let's not think about that too much. Takakesha is very much the 51 to 49 favorite here. I pick him to win. Tamawashi and Shodai. You have no idea how tempted I am to pick Shodai here. Over the last couple years, Shodai has beaten Tamawashi when it's getting into the back half of the Basho, the earliest that he's beaten him is day seven. And when they fight earlier than that, Tamawashi wins. Well, Tamawashi probably shouldn't have lost his last two fights. So is he getting into his second week struggles that he's, you know, semi famous for? Maybe. He's way, way less of a favorite than he would have been three or four days ago. But I don't have enough reason to think Shodai is going to find a way to do this. I, this is my, I'm probably wrong pick. I'm picking Tamawashi because it's the logical selection, but I really, really see a lot of ways Shodai can win this fight. But Tamawashi to win. Abi and Tirano Fuji. They don't have much record against each other. It's just one to one. Abi's win was at the end of January after Tara no Fuji got hurt. And I am making a very simple baseline for who I'm picking in Teru's fights. K 
can the person Teru is fighting push and push hard with enough weight behind it to unbalance him and give him no real chance at stabilizing? The answer is yes with Abby. I pick Abby to win. And that's going to do it for day 11 of Natsu Basho 2022. As always, top 10 picks will be at the end of the video. We're working the randomizer again. Hey, hit the like, leave a comment if you want. Otherwise, have a great day and I'll see you tomorrow.